Honor and faith to you, my friend. We are nearly ready to depart. My Lord Varen requested that Tharn and Snow Lily join us, for safety's sake. Though I have seen fewer places as tranquil as the Valley of Blades. An old friend, Kasura, dwells there. Before I was captured, I placed an enchanted ring in her keeping. The ring is a key of sorts. Without it, we will not be able to open the secret chamber where the Amulet of Kings lies hidden. She was my first mentor and instructor, a true master of blades. Though she still trains young swordsmen in the valley, though she deems worthy of her instruction. Swordsmanship, but much more than that. Her teachings revolve around a trinity of body, blade, and brilliance. The sword singers of old were said to be masters of all three. Oh, look, there will be time for questions later. Are you ready to depart? I'll open a portal to hasten your journey. Do you smell the scent of burning embers in the air? Well, we may be in for a treat if Kasura is teaching the firewalk. The Abbey is just down the path. Well, we're fortunate that my Lord Varen opened the portal for us. This landslide appears to have blocked the valley's only approach. I cannot say. I've never known these mountains to experience earthquakes. Strange. It is tradition for Redguard men to shave their heads following a time of great trials. I shaved mine long ago, when I failed in the task to restore the lost tradition of the sword singers. Also, long hair gets in the way during battle. There is an old Red Guard proverb. A man is only as great as the beard that wears him. A full and healthy beard carries with it a sense of great honor and wisdom. Also crumbs. <laughs> oh, a few have tried. But a fool and his fingers are quickly parted. The Abbey is just down the path. Well, we're fortunate that my Lord Varen opened the portal for us. This lands... I cannot... Uh, it's strange to return to these mountains. Memories of youth flood my mind. Each one bringing its own sorrow or its own smile. Oh, joy. We've been here less than five minutes, and Sahan is already getting maudlin and weepy. Shut up, Tharn. Don't let him get to you, Sai. Let him roll his eyes. Maybe he'll find a brain what back there. What is this? The Abbey burns. Quickly, we must find Kasura. So much destruction. What could have done this? I'm afraid I've seen this before. Keep an eye skyward, Titanborn. <gasps> Kasura, are you Intruders. injured? Cultists. What happened? They attacked the Abbey. So many of my students have fallen. The Abbey is in ruins, Kasura. How, how could they? Gigantic beast. Like nothing I've ever seen. Cultists. They're opening rift to oblivion. No. Save your strength, Kasura. We will make them pay. I promise you. What do you think? Trap? It's only a trap if you don't know about it. I assume everything is a trap, therefore, it's a challenge. In the name of Moloch Baal, come forth and destroy his enemies!
Leave Daedric minions and obey! of oblivion. Come forth and feast. Sai Sahan and company at last. My pet has been waiting for you. Ice Skyward, here it comes! How many more of your friends must die, Sai Sahan? Where is the amulet of kings? Well fought. Sai Sahan travels with worthy companions. My injuries are not serious. What are a few more scars to an old warrior? Scars have the virtue of reminding us that our past is real. My students, in my home, have not fared half so well. I'm glad to see you. I'm curious why you are here. I did not find the Ring of Stendar's mercy. But now that the King of Worms knows you are here, it is only a matter of time before he launches another attack. Indeed, atop the Eastern Stair is the secret entrance to the Ancestral Crypt. The Ring is within. Follow me. The hidden entrance will not be obvious. Why would a crypt need a secret entrance? It's a wonder there's an unplundered crypt in all of Skyrim. You Nords could learn a thing or two from the builders of Hammerfell. Perhaps Hammerfell could also teach Nibane the virtue of good manners. Here we are. Watch your step as you descend. I can feel the presence of my ancestors whenever I come here. I am burdened with a great responsibility to honor their sacrifice and uphold their legacy. I, along with some of the most renowned sword singers who ever lived, we must tread carefully and with great respect. We both thought it would be well protected in the Valley of Blades. The most gifted young swordsmasters of Hammerfell are invited to train with Kasura. The town was bristling with strength and steel before the Titans showed up. I cannot say. Perhaps someone told him of my past. Perhaps he pried the memory from me during my time in the Halls of Torment. Either way, I am to blame for the Valley's destruction. No one I love will be safe until Mana Marco has been dealt with. And I shall need a proper weapon. Kasura said that my father's greatsword lies with the ring. It seems proper that I should wield it in his honor.
tread lightly. Few living have been permitted to walk among yeah. these honored dead. Vard Hunding, son of Frandardo Hunding, Helhanse no Shira, the greatest of the sword saints. The hearth of every household in Hammerfell has a small alcove containing a copy of his father's greatest work, the Book of Circles. It seems fitting that the Ring of Stendar's mercy lies with my father's great sword. By the sword of my father, Nazir Atafsahan, I pledge myself to the destruction of Manimarko and the liberation of Tamriel from the tyranny of the God of Schemes, Molag Baal. The ring is yours. Guard it well. I must return to my students to begin the long task of rebuilding. Thank you, but I cannot leave the Valley of Blades. I must bury the dead and tend to the wounded. I knew you would lead me to the ring eventually. Give it to me. Your presence defiles this place, Marco. Give me the ring and I might spare your pathetic lie. We struck down your Titan and we'll strike you down soon enough. The Titan was a prelude of what's to come and you continue to defy me. Defy you? Your delusions of godhood are laughable, you ignominious corpse herder. Very well then. I'll simply take the ring from your corpses. Blasphemy! How dare you waste the honor to fight your battle! The next time you hide something from the most powerful necromancer in all of Tamriel, you might reconsider hiding it in a bloody tomb. Move! Now!
Rest in peace, honored dead. I swear on the souls of my ancestors, I will avenge Mana Marco's blasphemy. The ring is ours for the time being. Guard it well. You must return to the harborage and give it to Lord Varen. It will remain safe in his keeping until it is time to travel to Sancrator. Lyris, Abner, and I will remain here to help Kasura bury the dead and tend to the injured. Lord Varen has been observing our progress. He will open the portal for you to return. There it is, at the top of the stairs. Go, quickly! The damage is great, but if you had not arrived when you did, there would be nothing left to rebuild. Be safe in the coming days, my friends. I look forward to your return. The Abbey of Blades will rise from these ashes. In my mind's eye, I witness your battle with the worm cult and with the undead Anse abominations. Your mission was successful, was it not? I witnessed the Titan's assault and sensed the deaths of many innocents. It is a great and terrible loss. Saisahan and the others will need time to aid Kasura. I will contact you when they return and we will begin the journey to Sankator. <laughs> 